Hello, this is question number 46 in chapter 6 of Walker Physics 4th edition. The problem says referring to problem 45, and so I've got the picture from number 45 up on the top, find the direction and magnitude of the hanging block's acceleration if its mass is 4.2 kilograms. All right, so 4.2 kilograms is that, so I need to know what is its weight. So what is the force that's pulling this down? So this is mg. So 9.81 is going to be g times 4.2. And so I've got 41.2 O2 uh, newtons down. All right. Now the other force is going to be the force pulling this down the hill. All right. So I have an mg here, and let's go ahead and do mg. m is 5.7 times 9.81, and this is uh, mg equals 55.917, okay? Now, this is gonna, since this is an angle, I need to break these into it's two components. One of these forces is going to go straight down into the, into the ramp. The other is going to move parallel to the ramp. And this is the only one that's going to be left. We're going to see that this is shoving in, and there's going to be equal and opposite force called the support force that's coming from the ramp. Okay, The ramp is exerting a force on the block. The block is exerting part of its weight into the surface of the ramp. These two cancel. If you do um, a 35 degree angle here, you're gonna see these are, are corresponding triangles. So this is gonna be a also a 35. And using some trig, we see that this is going to be mg, which we know is 55.917 times the sine of 35 degrees. And this is 55.917 times the cosine of 35 degrees, but I don't really need this because these two cancel each other. One is heading down into the block, the other is heading up from the block, and they cancel each other out. So the only one, the only component of mg that's left is this that's making it want to go down. So what is this? 35 sine times 55.917 gives me a downward force of 32 0.07. Okay, 32.07 down. All right, so what we got? First of all, we need to see, is this one going to tug the string down, and is it going to descend, or is this one going to tug it up and make it ascend? All right, so I've got 32 down. I've got 41 going this way. That means in this direction, I've got a force of 41 point 202. So these two are going to battle it out. This one loses. So this is going to climb up the, the slope slightly. I don't know what the acceleration is yet, but let's cancel it out. 41.202 minus 32.07. Okay. That means that I have a net force heading uphill of 9.132 newtons, okay? Now, if I want the acceleration, I want the acceleration of the entire system because this is gonna be lowering and this is gonna be raising. So both of these masses have to be added. So when I come down here to do F equals MA, my net force is F, so this is 9.132 newtons. My kilograms is going to be 5.7 plus 4.2. So this is 9.9 .9 kilograms. And then A is going to be in meters per second squared. So divide that into it. And I get acceleration is 0.922 meters per second squared. This is two significant digits. This is two significant digits. Um, so it looks like this is going to be um, just 0 0.92.
meters per second squared. Thank you.